Catholic Church is constantly growing and changing in Australia. In this response, the way the Church is changing in Australia, the history of the Australian Catholic Church and patterns of religious belief in Australia will be explained. There are many different ways that the Australian Catholic Church has developed and changed over the past decades. Immigration to Australia had caused many different cultures and religions to be introduced. This caused Australia to become a multicultural and multicultural country. Church today. The outcome of all these changes in society and the church is that today's Catholic community looks very different from that of the 1950s. Mass attendance rates have fallen. The number of priests, sisters and brothers is declining and the average age is decreasing. Old forms of devotion like the rosary have almost disappeared, but there has been a growth of interest in alternative, alternative forms of prayer borrowed from a variety of cultures and traditions. Different leadership roles, which were once the priests and religious people in education, healthcare, parish life, and many other fields, has been filled by lay people. Some Catholics see these changes as a tragedy which the bishops have been powerless to stop or have promoted, but most regard them as a welcome evidence of a church prepared to adapt to the many changing circumstances. The changes that have been that have taken place have primarily been changes in rules and practices. The church's teachings have been reinterpreted and re-expressed in language more suitable for the time. History of the church. The, the Catholic post-war era. The 1950s were a boom time for Australian Catholics. Numbers grew rapidly, increasing the proportion of Catholics in the Australian population. Many parishes were established in the new suburbs of the major cities. The number of priests, sisters and brothers continued to expand. The impact of all the effort expended on education was felt as Catholics made noticeable advances in socioeconomic status, drawing near to the Australian population as a whole in educational attainment and prosperity. There was a high level of attendance at mass and other devotional ceremonies, and many Catholics belonged to parish associations such as the Sacred Hearts of Dality and the Holy Name Society. At home, large numbers of families recited the rosary every night or at least once a week. And in the community, Catholics stood out because of practices like never eating meat on Fridays. The Catholic Church community had grown to be what the Irish bishops of the 19th century had worked for and dreamed of, which is a, living, a thriving church based on the Irish model. The results of the latest national census today re reveals we're a religiously diverse nation, with Christianity remaining the most common religion. 52% of the population. Islam, 2.6%, and Buddhism, 2.4%, were the next most common religions reported. Nearly a third of Australians, 30%, reported in the census that they had no religion in 2016. The religious makeup of Australia has changed gradually over the past 50 years. In 1966, Christianity, 88%, was the main religion. By 1991, this figure had fallen to 74% and further to the 2016 figure. Catholicism is the largest Christian grouping in Australia, accounting for almost a quarter, 22.6% of the Australian population. Australia is increasing in religious diversity with Hinduism, Sikhism, Islam, and Buddhism, all increasingly common religious beliefs. Hinduism had the most significant growth between 2006 and 2016, driven by immigration from South Asia. The growing percentage of Australia's population reporting no religion has been a trend for decades and is accelerating. Those reporting no religion increased noticeably from 19% in 2006 to 30% in 2016. The largest change was between 2011, 22%, and 2016 on an additional 2.2 million people reported having no religion. In terms of states, New South Wales had the highest religious affiliation, 66% of people reporting a religious affiliation, while Tasmania, 53%, which was the lowest 
the results of the latest national census today reveal we're a, a religiously diverse nation, with Christianity remaining the most common religion, 52%. Thank you.